so the first thing you have to do is to split the hair into two equal sections. Now pick up a small section of hair from the outside of the right strand and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a small section of hair from the outside of the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. I like to take my index finger and my thumb and pinch the hair where it crosses to lock the hair into place. That way you can let go with the other hand while grabbing some new hair. Then grab a small section of hair from the outside of the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. Again pick up a new section of hair from the right strand and cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a new section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. So that is all you have to do. So pick up a small section of hair from the right strand and cross it over to the left strand. Then pick up a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over to the right strand. So just repeat taking a small section from one strand and cross it over to the other strand until you reach the end of your hair. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit so you can see the whole process. So when you reach the end of the hair, then tie the hair off with an elastic and I will leave a link to the elastics I'm using down below. So you can just leave the braid as it is, that looks really good, but you can also pull in the sides of the braid to loosen it up and give it some more volume. The first thing you have to do is to take a small section of hair and split the hair into two equal sections so you have a top strand and a bottom strand. Then cross the top strand over the bottom strand. The way I hold the strands is that I hold the bottom strand by my pinky finger and the top strand is in between my thumb and index finger. Then pick up a small section of hair on the same side as the top strand. Then cross the new section of hair under the top strand and add it to the bottom strand. Now move all of the strands over to the other hand, so hold the top strand with your pinky finger and the bottom strand is in between your index finger and thumb. Again pick up a small section of hair on the same side as the bottom strand. Then cross the new section of hair under the bottom strand and add it to the top strand. Then move all of the strands over to the other hand. Then pick up a new section of hair right next to the top strand. Now grab a small section of the top strand and add it to the section of hair you just picked up and then cross the new strand of hair under the top strand and add it to the bottom strand. Then move all of the strands over to the other hand. Now pick up a new section of hair right next to the bottom strand. Again grab a small section of the bottom strand and add it to the new section of hair and then cross the new strand of hair under and add it to the top strand. Then pick up a new section of hair right next to the top strand. Again grab a small section of the top strand and add it to the section of hair you just picked up and then cross the new strand of hair under and add it to the bottom strand. Then pick up a new section of hair right next to the bottom strand. Again grab a small section of the bottom strand and add it to the new section of hair and then cross the new strand of hair under and add it to the top strand. The braid does look a bit weird in the beginning but when you get further down the braid it will start to come along and look right so you just have to keep going. So again pick up a new section of hair and then grab a small section from the top strand and put them together then bring the new strand of hair under and add it to the bottom strand. Then pick up a new section of hair and grab a small section from the bottom strand and put them together. 
Then bring the strand under and add it to the top strand. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and then grab a small section off the top strand and then put them together so they become one strand. Then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and then put them together so they become one. Then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and grab a small section of hair off the top strand and then put them together so they become one strand. Then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and then grab a small section off the bottom strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and grab a small section off the top strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Now pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and then grab a small section off the top strand and then bring them together so they become one and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and grab a small section off the top strand and bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Now pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and grab a small section off the top strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and grab a small section off the top strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and grab a small section off the bottom strand and then bring the hair under and add it to the other side. So as you can see, the braid is really starting to come along. So now you just have to continue those steps until you reach the back of your head. And I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit so we can get to the end of the braid. So when you get to the nape of your neck and there is no more hair to add in, then continue braiding by taking a small section from one side and cross it under and add it to the other strand. And then repeat on the other side. 
So grab a small section of hair and bring it under and add it to the other strand. So when you get to the end of the braid, then tie the braid off with an elastic and then you're done. The first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of the head and then split that into two equal sections. Then cross the right strand over the left strand and move all the strands over to your right hand. Then pick up a new small section of hair on the left side and add it to the right strand. Then move the strands over to your left hand and using your thumb and index finger to lock the hair into place by pinching the hair with your fingers where the hair crosses. Then pick up a new small section of hair on the right side and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then move the strands over to your right hand and lock the hair into place just like before with your thumb and index finger. Then pick up a new section of hair on the left side. So before you cross the hair over to the right strand, pick up a small section of hair from the left strand and add it to the hair you just picked up. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Then move the strands over to your left hand and lock the hair into place. Then pick up a new section of hair on the right side. And just like before, pick up a small section of the right strand and add it to the hair you just picked up. And then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. Again pick up a new section of hair on the left side and also pick up a small section of the left strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Now pick up a new section of hair on the right side and also take a small section from the right strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a new section of hair on the left side and take a small section from the left strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Now pick up a new section of hair on the right side and take a small section from the right strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. So now you just have to repeat those steps until there's no more hair to add in. So pick up a new section of hair on the left side and also take a small section from the left strand and then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Then pick up a new section of hair on the right side and also take a small section from the right strand and then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so we can get to the end of the braid.
So when there's no more hair to add into the braid, then just do a basic fishtail braid. So grab a small section of hair from the right strand and cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then grab a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. When you get to the end of the hair, then secure the braid with an elastic and then you're done. So the first step is to take a small section of hair in the front and then split it into two equal sections. Then cross the bottom strand over the top strand and move the strands over to your right hand. Then pick up a small section of hair next to the top strand and cross it over and add it to the bottom strand. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and cross it over and add it to the top strand. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand. So before you cross the hair over and add it to the bottom strand, pick up a small section of the top strand and add it to the hair you just picked up, then cross the hair over and add it to the bottom strand. Then pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand. And just like before, pick up a small section from the bottom strand and add it to the hair you just picked up and then cross the hair over and add it to the top strand. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand. Then pick up a small section of the top strand and add it to the hair you just picked up then cross the hair over and add it to the bottom strand. Now pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand. Then pick up a small section of the bottom strand and add it to the hair you just picked up. Then cross the hair over and add it to the top strand. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and also grab a small section from the top strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the bottom strand. Again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and also grab a small section from the bottom strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the top strand. So now you just have to repeat those steps until there is no more hair you can add into the braid. So pick up a new section of hair next to the top strand and also grab a small section from the top strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the bottom strand. So again pick up a new section of hair next to the bottom strand and also grab a small section from the bottom strand, then cross the hair over and add it to the top strand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit so we can get to the end of the braid.
So when there's no more hair to add into the braid, then just do a basic fishtail braid in the rest of the hair. So take a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. Then take a small section of hair from the right strand and cross it over and add it to the left strand. When you get to the end of the hair, then secure the braid with an elastic and then you're done. The first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of the head and then split the hair into two equal sections. Then hold the left strand with your pinky and the right strand with your thumb and index finger. Then grab a small section from the right strand and bring it under and add it to the left strand. I just hold the hair with my middle finger and then add the hair to the left strand in the next step. Then hold the right strand with your pinky and hold the left strand and the small section of hair in between your thumb and index finger. Then grab a small section from the left strand and bring it under and add it to the right strand. And just like before, I hold the hair with my middle finger and add the hair to the right strand in the next step. Again, grab the left strand with your pinky and grab the right strand and the small section of hair with your thumb and index finger. Then grab a small section of hair from the right strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then grab a new section of hair on the right side and add it to the small section under your middle finger. Then grab the right strand with your pinky and then hold the left strand and the small section of hair in between your thumb and index finger. Then take a small section of hair from the left strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then grab a new section of hair on the left side and add it to the small section. Again, grab the left strand with your pinky, hold the right strand and the small section of hair in between your thumb and index finger. Again, grab a small section of hair from the right strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then take a new section of hair from the same side and add it to the small section. Then take a small section of hair from the left strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Again, take a new section of hair from the same side and add it to the small section. Again, grab a small section from the right strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then take a new section of hair from the same side and add it to the small section. Then grab a small section of hair from the left strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then grab a new section of hair from the same side and add it to the small section. Again grab a small section from the right strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then add some new hair to the small section from the same side. Then take a small section of hair from the left strand and bring it under and hold it with your middle finger. Then grab a new section of hair from the same side and add it to the small section. So now you just have to repeat those steps until there's no more hair you can add in. When there's no more hair you can add in, then you have to do a reverse fishtail braid. So take a small section of hair from the right strand and bring it under and add it to the left strand. Then grab a small section of hair from the left strand and bring it under and add it to the right strand. 
Then repeat those steps until you get to the end of the hair and then secure the braid with an elastic. Now you can pull in the sides of the braid to fan it out and you can pull more or less than what I do, it just depends on how you want the braid to look. The first step is to split the hair into two equal sections. Then take a small section of hair from the back side of the left strand and then cross it over and add it to the right strand. Then take a small section of hair from the back side of the right strand and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Again take a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. Now take a small section of hair from the right strand and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Again grab a small section of hair from the left strand and then cross it over to the right strand. Then grab a small section of hair from the right strand and then cross it over to the left strand. Again take a small section of hair from the left strand and add it over to the right strand. Then take a small section of hair from the right strand and add it over to the left strand. Whenever I have to pick up hair, I lock the hair into place by taking my thumb and index finger and holding the hair tight where the hair crosses in the middle, and that way you can let go with your other hand. Again, take some hair from the left strand and add it over to the right strand. Then take some new hair from the right strand and add it over to the left strand. So that is all you have to do, so take a small section of hair from the left strand and add it to the right strand, and then take a small section of hair from the right strand and add it over to the left strand. So now just continue those steps until you reach the end of the hair. When you get to the end of the hair, then grab a small elastic and tie the braid off. Then you're going to pull in the sides of the hair to fan out the braid and make it look like you want it to. So that is how to fishtail braid and if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.